What's up guys? So welcome to the grand opening of Modino One by Century Community. And in this video, we are gonna be touring their largest floor plan, which is 2114, so stay tuned. What's up guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel if this is your very first time tuning in my name is dale abella with exp realty i'm a local realtor here in las vegas and uh, what we do on my channels we go over all the new build communities here in las vegas so if this is something you're interested in if you're looking for a new built home or if you're looking to move to las vegas do me a favor guys hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification button that way you stay up to date with all the newest communities here in Las Vegas. Hey guys, so today we are here at the grand opening of Modena One by Century Community here in Cadence. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Cadence, Cadence is a master plan community about 30 minutes away from the Las Vegas airport strip. It's about 30 minutes east. It being in a master plan community, uh, there's a whole bunch of amenities, guys. You have walking trails, sports parks, splash pads, pools, and uh, much more, guys. Uh, but yeah, I will have the floor plans on the screen for you guys. So here at Modena One, you have four different floor plans, okay? All ranging from 1675 square feet all the way up to 2114 square feet with the base prices starting at 397,900 all the way up to 422,990. Now guys, again, with the base price, uh, if you want your total cost, you have to factor in your base price you have to add the lot premium and the upgrades okay so the lot premiums here right now they're ranging from 1000 to 20000 and it upgrades is about 40 to 60000 okay now as far as what they're doing they just opened up here guys they have eight spec homes available so the plan as of right now is they're going to do all spec homes from this community now when i say spec homes spec homes just means that the builder picks out all the options they pick out all the structural upgrades so by the time you get into contract, the home is almost completed, okay? Maybe later down the road, they might actually change that option and they might have some lots that you could build some uh, from scratch there. The HOA is $50 a month, which is really great. Here at Cadence, this is probably the most affordable uh, math plan community in Las Vegas. The lots here, they're gonna average about 3,350 square, square feet. So not too big of lots, you guys. Probably you're looking at like 15 feet deep backyards. Some lots may be a little bit bigger. They're gonna have 200 homes here in Modena One Collection. For the spec homes, they're adding in about 50 to 60,000 in upgrades. So when you look at the base prices for these homes, they're pretty much out the door. They're gonna range from about 450 to 500,000, okay? So that's about it, guys. Let's get started with the tour. All right, guys, so welcome to the plan 2114. Now this is 2114 square feet, four to six bedrooms, two and a half baths, and the base price is 422,990. Again, with the base price, guys, like for this house, what they're doing in this community is they're just, the builders are doing spec homes. So that means they're choosing out all the options um, so that way the house is ready a lot sooner. And by the time you get into contract, it's almost finished. So I know right now they do have, they just opened this community, they have eight spec homes. So the base price is the 422,990, but after upgrades and lot premiums, it's gonna be in between like the 460 to 500, okay? Here, since the garage is open, we'll take a look in here. Uh, so you will get a tankless water heater. You have a water softener loop right over there, okay? And then a paver driveway, that's included. So we got this nice eight foot door. Now guys, if you guys are interested in uh, looking at a new build or interested in new build community, uh, make sure you give me a call. My info is gonna be in the description below or um, definitely let your realtor know if you're, if you're already working with one. Uh, the thing is, if you go to a new build community by your uh, by yourself on your very first visit, or if you call in and give them your information, uh, they will let you have representation down the road. Definitely want representation because realtors, what we do for you is we negotiate for you. We make sure you get all the max incentives. The builders pay the agent fees, so it's definitely a win-win situation for you. Okay guys, so as soon as you walk in, so to the left, you'll have the stairs to go 
that goes to the second floor. All right, this is pretty nice though, because when you look up, very high ceilings. Okay, so it looks like they got the upgraded stair rails here. This model house is, I believe, a three beds, but it can be a six bedroom. Like I know this is an option. So right over here, you're gonna have like your den, the office space. You could have that option to be a bedroom. Okay, so this is gonna be your main living area. So you got your kitchen, living room, and dining room. Um, also guys, you do have nine foot ceilings downstairs. And um, that is standard, okay? With uh, eight foot ceilings upstairs. Optional electric fireplace. Okay, so you do have a lot of windows and the slider here. So you're gonna get a lot of light that comes inside. Looks like they went, uh, they did the uh, optional counter extension if you want more counter space. Nice backsplash as well. So as far as the kitchen, what's standard in the kitchen is, uh, what's standard in the kitchen is for the cabinets, you'd have 36 inch cabinets would be uh, maple cabinetry. Uh, you also would have granite countertop. It'd be a uh, two and a quarter inch thickness. Um, and then you'd have your stainless steel Whirlpool appliance package, which is like the range, the microwave and the dishwasher. So all these, uh, this sink right here and that the gold um, faucet, that is optional. Okay, I love these lights underneath the cabinets. Definitely optional as well. Okay. And then guys, so uh, refrigerator, washer, and dryer is not included. So you could, you know, you could buy that at the store. Got this nice kitchen island. Okay. Those are soft fills? No, not soft clothes. Right, we do have this nice large slider. Now the backyard for these model homes is actually not the, the standard backyards. Um, the lots for the Modena One collection, uh, it's gonna be about, the lot square footage is 33.50, that's average. So, you know, you'd probably have about a 15 feet deep backyard. Um, there are some other lots that are larger, um, but I know, you know, those lots, they will have a larger lot premium. Okay. So as far as the backyard, when you move in, this is all going to be dirt. And then, you know, you'll have a year to do your landscape. And then also too, if you're looking at these model homes, if you're curious to know like why the walls aren't higher, well, this is just for the model homes, but as soon as you move in, you're gonna have like a, you know, your normal walls like that. Okay, so the AC, the AC is gonna be on that other side. Um, and I believe you will have, a, it will be a 15 sear AC unit. Let's check out this pantry. Nice, so we have this modern five panel door. Okay, so this is gonna be your pantry. Okay, so quite a bit of space. Uh, you will have your Honeywell thermostat right there. Now this is the, uh, this is gonna be your den, your office space. Okay, so you do have like a little walk-in closet. Again, this could be a full bedroom. Um, in the meantime, this community, they're gonna be doing spec homes, but maybe later on they will actually 
let buyers have the option to do more structural upgrades. But for now, like spec homes is they already, you know, picked out if they're if they're making a den or if they're doing that bedroom downstairs. Okay, oh we'll check this out. Okay, so it stops to right about there. Nice accent wall, digging in. Um, as far as flooring, the standard flooring in a house, it will in this community is a 13 by 13 ceramic tile, which you would only receive in the wet areas. The wet areas include like the bathroom, entryway, laundry room, kitchen. Um, and then you would have like carpet everywhere else. Okay. But most buyers actually, um, they at least will upgrade into, um, hard flooring all throughout the first floor. And I'm sure that's what they're going to be doing for most of their specs as well. I don't think they're going to leave the carpet on the first floor. Not a popular option. So we got your coat closet right here. Okay. So let's head upstairs. Nice large window right there. Okay, nice upgraded railings. So as soon as you walk up, you'll see right over there, that's gonna be the primary bedroom. Now it is eight foot ceilings on the second floor. Okay. But if you look around here, so you do have windows which is nice. So you have windows on this side. You're going to have windows on this side. So definitely going to be a lot of light. Good light that comes into the house. Right here, we're going to have your linen closet. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have guest bedroom number one. So pretty decent, uh, decent space here. So we got a full full size bed. Okay. So yeah, that's, this is the neighborhood bunch of empty dirt lots. Again, this community, uh, Modena one, they're going to build 200 homes here and the Modena two collection. They're going to have another 200 homes. Um, the baseboards that you're looking at right now, this is, this is about like a five inch baseboard, but the standard is three and a quarter. Okay, so we have your transfer grill right over there. Helps regulate the airflow. Guest bed, room number two. Okay, so we got your standard closet. Plenty of space, definitely bigger than a, like your, you know, your 10 by 10. I would say this is probably 11 by 12. Okay. We're going to have your, uh, full bath. So we got the nice quartz, um, dual sinks, black faucets, dark cabinets. Okay. So you have your shower tub combo right here. So right here, you're gonna have your cozy loft. Definitely a good size loft. Nice little hangout area. Because we have your laundry room right over there. Now it looks like they already have a few structural upgrades. They got the uh, the sink cabinets, the up top cabinets over here. Okay, and your washer and dryer. Again, guys, these are not included. And then you have your upstairs thermostat. Got some extra um, linen closet right there. 
All right, now welcome to the primary bedroom. This is gonna be a king size bed. So yeah, this king size bed is actually um, scooted over a little bit to the left there because they wanted to get it out the way from that window. Definitely more narrow right here. Oh, but take a look at this, guys. So you can see some of the parks that they have in this community. Okay, so that's really nice. Yeah, you can see they're building a lot over there. All right, let's check out the primary bath. Okay, so we have your toilet, toilet room. Um, we have your upgraded walk-in shower. Ooh, look at that material too. Beautiful upgraded material right here. Upgraded tile. Okay. We got the black, black hardware. Beautiful quartz. And then we do have your walk-in closet right here. So, decent size. We also have your attic access right up there. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys have any questions at all, um, my info is gonna be in the description below. So, you know, feel free to contact me guys. Also, if you're looking for a realtor who's very familiar with the new build process, somebody who will make sure that, you know, to get you all the, uh, the max incentives that the builder offers, guys, reach out to me. I'm available anytime. But yeah, until then, I'll catch you guys next video.